ông quỳ chụp ông tuyên truyền ra cả một tổ cách năm đó bị tệ bị thi sạm nạc ca thì phía xa đánh đầu nâng đó bị tì ca chung từ cổng mấy tì ca bị cái đầy lục yên tử ri là mấy mình nó cả nông ca tăng tâm lúc đánh đầu nhập của xã xây xung trình Thank you, Mr. President, uh, Your Honors. Good afternoon and good afternoon to everyone in and around the courtroom. Sir, uh, before we left off, we went through a series of documents where we showed that you were provided questions by the investigative judges and that months or weeks later, you provided answers. And so now I would like to ask you a question. During the investigative phase, were, there no, <coughs> were you also, on your own initiative, providing written statements to the Office of the uh, Investigative Judges? ជាមួយរាជសាស្ត្រលោកប្រធានខ្ញុំបានសរសេរអត្តបទ uh, and as I understand it, uh, you did this on your own, on your own initiative. Main. And would it be fair to say that in, in some or in all those instances when you provided some clarifications or some additional information. You did so after reflecting, but also after consulting, analyzing, and synthesizing documents. ជាមួយរដ្ឋសាស្ត្រលោកប្រធានខ្ញុំចាំបញ្ចប័ន្តទេក៏ប៉ុន្តែកំណត់ដែលខ្ញុំផ្ដល់ជូនសហចក្រក
by the core investigative judges that they're attaching to the record a handwritten text, which is a declaration that you had provided them. Do you see that, sir? This is an example that I was referring to. And just, if we could look at, if we could look at just one do, one page, that would be perhaps on the last page. It's Khmer. Zero zero one four six six seven nine English zero zero one four nine nine one eight French zero zero one four nine nine four four there are just a couple of matters you indicate, for instance, on this page, fourth, it was on account of my trying hard to searching for the truth that Tamak forever bore me a grudge about the case of a Hanoi cadre named Prak Son, alias Pot. Have you found that passage, sir? Have you found that? Perhaps if we have some assistance. Have you found it, sir? It says fourth. All right. And I take it that throughout that time you were searching for the truth, as you have put down here. Or was it just one isolated instance where you were searching for the truth? Which of the two? ជំរាបប្រសាសន៍លោកប្រធានបញ្ហាស្វែងរកកាបពិតនេះក៏មិនដឹងជាប្រមាណករណីទេក៏ប៉ុណ្ណោះករណីនេះវាលេចឆ
chỉ mới được sao lục bạch thiên để không kích nít thì dây mà mắt cứ không không kích bị can nghĩa là cổ bà tại kích vì mình ruồi tăng vì đồng bông ơi mới không không kích kích vì mình ruồi Right, I understand. But the point that I'm trying to make is I want to make sure we all understand you. While you were at, at S21, and you were in charge of S21, you evaded work to the maximum. Correct? All right, thank you. And when you say in the same sentence, which you drafted and turned over to the investigative judges, when you say, I thus never grasped anything concretely, was that a truthful statement? Thank you. So if we could go on to the next document, which is another example, uh, D86 slash 20, and this is another written record of one of your interviews 27 of March 2008 if you could look at that and please draw your attention to KH 0017820 that's the Khmer ERA number English 00194546 French 0078032 if you could look at that briefly we won't dwell on this too much well, I simply wish for you to confirm that in this particular document we see that you provide comments on the circumstances of your meeting with the journalist and on the book written by Dalma, the, law, the lost executioner. Is that correct? Can or should we conclude that in providing these comments, you would have had to have read the last execution of the book that was written by Donna? Can we draw that conclusion? Now, was that part of your case file? Or was that a book that was provided to you by your lawyers? If you recall. All right. What about Philip Short's book on Pol Pot, which I believe is in French? Did you have an opportunity to read that one, if you recall? Philip Short. Thank you. 
If we could go now to another document, and this would be the last document of this series, and these are just for the court's uh, edification, these are just vignettes, just examples. D86-27, uh, D86-27, a written record of an interview by you or of you. May 5, 2008, and if we could look at the Khmer Air number is 00187654 to, six, to, to, to five five. English 00204343 and the French 00177616217 following page if you look at it here it appears that you provide remarks to the OCIJ on the book written by David Chandler titled Voices from S21 Terror and History in Pol Pot's Secret Prison. Is that correct? Thank you. Now I take it in order to remark on the book, you had to have read it. Correct? So there's nothing more in the document that you need to refer to. Okay. Now, is there a reason why you only read half of the book? Were you only half interested? Or was it that you were pressed for time, or you only focused on matters that you thought were essential for the Office of the Core Investigative Judges? And so the sections that you commented on, uh, I take it those sections you deemed important. ជម្រាបសាលោកប្រធានផ្នែកនៅក្នុងសិភើដេវីឆែនលើដែលខ្ញុំចាប់អារម្មណ៍យកបោកអធិបាយជូនសហចក្រក្រមសិមគេជាផ
if you could just answer the question, I would appreciate it. ជាមួយចិត្តខ្ញុំដែលចង់បានយកមកដាក់ក្នុងដៃខ្ញុំគឺឯកសារថ្ងៃ let me translate that answer then. Yes, I reviewed documents that were in the case file in answering or commenting on David Chandler's book. Is that a fair characterization of your answer? Men. And when you talked about just now, which we can see in the document, where you comment on the March 30th, 1976 decision, not only the, this was a, you referred to the decision in your analysis, and as I understand it, before arriving at this tribunal or at the ECCC, you had never seen the document. ជំរាបសារលោកប្រធានឯកសារនឹងដូចជាបានក្រោយអត្តបទខ្ញុំទេឬក៏មុនក៏មិនដឹងខ្ញុំភ្លេចហើយពណ្ណមានប្រដាំ
to comment on what he had commented on this decision. And in making your comments to the comments that were made by David Chandler on this particular decision, did you consult other documents or other texts that had been made available to you? If you recall. Alright, thank you. Now we're going to move on, we're going to move to a different area. So if we could look at uh, D227, D227, this is another written record of one of your interviews and is dated 21 October 2009. I could get the assistance uh, D 227. <laughs> Apologies. Now, sir, if you could look at this uh, document, and then if you could draw your attention to Khmer ERN number 0039820 English 0039208 French 0039821 Six. Now I want to focus where it says reply by the charged person, that would be you. And I'm going to quote a little bit from the text, if you could follow along. You need to make a distinction between theory and practice. Theoretically speaking, the separation of powers was organized through the decision of 30th March, 2000, uh, 30th March 1976. The distinction of roles in terms of smashing enemies was organized between the zone secretaries, the head of the off the heads of the office of 870 committee and the independent sectors and the general staff secretary. The two exceptions being the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Economy, for which nothing was provided in terms of security. Practically speaking, all power was centralized in Pol Pot, in Pol Pot's hands. Did you find that passage, sir, where you made, where you provided that, that reply? Did you find it? Uh, thank you. And I notice here that you're talking about in theory versus practice. In law, we would say de jure versus de facto. So, in theory, 
you say one thing, but then if I understand you correctly, in practice, something else may actually be put in place. Is that how I should understand your reply? Um, thank you, Your Honour. I would just ask that perhaps to be fair to the witness that the, the full passage be put, uh, particularly the following two sentences that follow, because it relates directly to the question being put by the Council. I leave it to the Court's discretion. Because of due to time, I have to make some, some selections just as the prosecution did, and they had six days. សំលោកមេត្តាវីរៀបចំនៅសំនួរឡើងវិញឲ្យបានខ្លីសំមាញ់ដើម្បីសាក់សេះអាចងាយយល់នៅសំនួរហើយនឹងអាចឆ្លើ
if your relations with him were that good, why did you allow torture in this case? And we're speaking for point of context about Bon Vet. And we see earlier on, he calls you a filthy killer or a filthy executioner. And then you go on. So that's the context. Then the judges pose another question to you, which reads, if you had this conversation with Von Vet, and in light of what you explained to us this morning, is it not because you were wondering about the evolution of the regime and the crimes it committed? Did you share your concerns with Von Vet? And your answer is, no, the purpose of this conversation was to protect myself from faults for which Pol Pot could blame me. The idea was to behave in a way that would not give Pol Pot excuses to arrest me easily. Do you recall giving that answer? Sir, I'm just interested in the passage that I pointed out, not the entire text. ជម្រាបសាសន៍លោកវធានចម្លាយខ្ញុំដូចជាមានន័យទុលាយរកអំណត់ទឹកដៅមិនបាននេះចម្លាយកាន់នោះទឹកដៅនៃការជួបសន្
ដែលខ្ញុំទៅសួរវនវេទហ្នឹងគឺដើម្បីឲ្យវនវេទ Right. And if I could go back to my question this morning, so asking Pang about information concerning the standing committee and what might have happened in the standing committee, you do not think that that might be the sort of information that could get you into trouble? The fact that you are asking these sorts of questions and the fact that Pang could inform on you with Pol Pot? ដូច្នេះថាតើលោកពេលដែលយកទៅសួរពាន់មានទីផងដើម្បីកំឲ្យលោកធ្លាក់ចូលអស់នោះអន្តរៈរបស់ពលពុទ្ធព្រោះគ
จมเรียบประสานโลกปฏิยันยมจำถักชมบันชลายจำเมนโอเค thank you now it seems from your answer and correct me if I'm wrong that anyone who did not uh, anybody in effect could be eliminated other than Pol Pot and Nun Chia at least based on your answer is that correct? Now what does this mean? All right. There were Von Vett, for instance. He was eliminated, was he not? Von Vett, or Van Kikam Tay Chao. Ta men, or in Mun Men? Jim Rip Sa, Lok Thien. Von Vett, or Van Kikam Tay Chao. Jom ngoi song, phai mui su, jom lai hai kum tay chao. Men. Well, he was eliminated, was he not? Men, or in Jom Su Tha Ta, Kwa Tra Van Kikam Tay Chao. Ruk Kwa Ad. And were other high-level individuals who held important positions also eliminated? Thank you. Okay, let's go on to something else. If we could look at document D-119, D-119, this is another written record of your interview. And I, if I could draw your attention to the page, the RN number, in in English, it's 0024-2904. In French, it's 0024-2915. And... Here, you're responding to a question, and it relates Mr. Kyo Song Pong, but your answer is rather interesting. Under the Khmer Rouge regime, there was frequently a person put in front as facade to hide the important person. Do you see that answer? Do you see that answer? And do you stand by that response? If we could go to the next document, and that's D90, D90, and in particular, I, will, I wish to focus your attention on Khmer ERN number 00198858. English, 00198858. Eight, eight, five, seven, eight, eight, three, five, seven, the seven members of the standing committee, three were responsible for security, Pol Pot, Nun Chia, and Son Sen. Do you stand by that answer, sir? Jim Ripa Salopatian, 
ขยมระซาสำไรนี่เราเข้า And would you say that this trio, these three individuals, to your understanding, had the power to arrest anyone? And let me make sure I understand that, that answer correctly. In other words, Pol Pot could have someone like Mr. Ng Shri or Kyo Som Pond arrested. ยิมเรียบภาษาโลกเทียนปอลปอนอาจจับอย่างเคียวสมพรอาจจับอย่างเอียงสิริอาจจับอย่างนุนเจียติพองนี่เป็นยิปิอมนายปิดประกอบกับบนใต้ปัญหาในเงียบมือเทียนตามมูลฐานไอ้เดินนำเอากัดสมัยจับเนี่ยนามูย right perhaps the same basis as von Vett or a number of other individuals, would those not be sufficient grounds to arrest, torture, and kill? Um, I think the question is not clear. I think the council should put to the witness what grounds those three were arrested on to see whether they could comment on whether they were the same grounds. But that hasn't been discussed. Honor, for six days, the gentleman has given all sorts of information as to who was smashed and for what reasons. It is not for me to give him the grounds. He was the one that was writing the confessions and ensuring that they were ultimately smashed. Are you able to answer the question, sir? If not, I will move on. Jim Ripper San Lopatian, some made to be so much, Madame did not complete but I thank you, witness. You had indicated that on what grounds Ink Sari or Q Sum Pon could be arrested. And my retort was on similar grounds such as Von Vet or others. Would those not be sufficient grounds to warrant an arrest? เลขาปะสมัยจับคือวิมีนเหตุพอลกรุ๊ปกรอนสำหรับได้รบกรอนได้กัดย่อถักกรุ๊ปกรอนสมปิจมามัดที่ถัดได้กัดย่อถักกร
I'll rephrase. I'll, I'll go on another, another way. Von Vet. Did he deserve, in your opinion, to be smashed? ជម្រាបសាសន៍លោកប្រធាននេះជាសេចក្តីសន្និដ្ឋានរបស់ខ្ញុំ I'll uh, go about it in another way. Was Von Vet tortured? And the purpose of torturing him was it not? Or, let me rephrase it. What was the purpose for having Von Vet tortured? Let me make sure I understand that answer. Are you suggesting, sir, that you, the head of S21, don't know why your mentor, the one that you asked for forgiveness, the one that called you a filthy killer, you don't know why he was tortured? Is that your answer? อะไรนี่คําสมญีทาในเปลเลคําโจลสมตัวกอดบงคนจงอลมกខ្ញុំอาคิตะกอខ្ញុំជឿថាសម្ដីនេះមិនមានកត់សម្ដេចខ្ញ
and then ask a series of uh, leading questions to, to get him to provide a certain answer. So I just ask that the uh, witness be allowed to freely give his own answer, one that, rather than one that's been placed uh, in his mouth. I'll rephrase, Your Honour. I'll rephrase. How long was one vet at S21? Well, was he there one week, one month, several months? And when did you have him smashed? Some no ta no pe na dai lo ao i ke kan te quat chao. Khom plik hai. How many confessions did he have to write in order in, before he got it just right? That is the story that was expected of him. ຈຳລະປະຊາຊົນລົກປະທານຂ້ອຍມອດມີຕຳຫຼົງຕົກຖ້າອ້າຍວັນເວດສະຊີລະບັດຕີໂດຍຊ្នេះ did you review his confessions? ຈຳລະປະຊາລົກປະທານມົນດັງຈູນຕາບົງນູນຂ້ອຍບານປີນັດຂ້ອຍບານເມືອຂ້ອຍບານອານ And were you asked to go back as you've indicated on other occasions to get Von Vett to provide clarifications or answers. I looked at some of you one way, no, when Charlie Ben Jet, how and Luke was flowing out of here, like when I did it. But I'm Kim Cham, do you mean Charlie Madong did? Look at Tamadong, got common dung, complete. And if you recall, what did he confess to doing wrong? Now he was your mentor. You had spent a lot of time with him. You went to ask for his forgiveness. To your knowledge, was he a member of the CIA? So are you suggesting that you don't know that, well, let me rephrase it. Are you telling us that back then, when you had him killed, that you believed his confession, that he was CIA? Alright, 
And let me give you a more general question then. Did everybody that came through S-21 who claimed to be CIA, KGB, or Vietnamese agent, to your understanding and belief at the time, were they all CIA, KGB, or Vietnamese agents? Mr. President, the question was with respect to Mon Vet. Now this was with respect to the others. And the purpose of asking this question is to see whether this gentleman believed those confessions. If not, it goes to show that people were killed under certain pretexts, which further shows that a pretext could be used to have somebody arrested and killed. And that's the whole line of questioning. But if you want me to move on, I'll move on. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I see that it's about time for the break, and this will be a good time for me, actually, before I go into the next uh, chapter. So if we could take our break now, which is the time, it would also help me as well. อกุลอกุลลูมิตวีอกุลสะใสเอลานิดาเปิดซอมลมอมสํารักให้อัญมณีประกาศสํารักบุพเพนิติ